Kyungishan Tojian. Welcome to Shattered Temple, and here we are for game number six between Ennis Hosa and Zenex. It is three to two in favor of Ennis Hosa at the moment. Their new representative is our Red Terran player over at the three o'clock position. That is Sting. And his opponent trying to tie things up in this game at the 12 o'clock position from Team Zenex, our Blue Zerg player, Suhoshin. Yeah, Life and Line are their two strongest players by far, I would say. Um, I would say Life a little bit better, but as you can see, Zenex Suhoshin. I'm just going to try to call him Suhoshin now. I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep calling him Line, but all right, I'm going to try to call him Suhoshin. So he's also a very, very good Zerg player, and I think one of the top players on Zenex right now as well. Uh, this is going to be a rough map for him, though. It's very, very difficult to take a third on this map as Zerg, and that's something that I've, I've got to imagine Sting is going to try to take advantage of. Well, we'll see what sort of a build that Sting has in mind here, as uh, could opt to do something a little bit crazy if he so desires because of the positions. And uh, I know we talk about this from time to time, but it used to be when players would just spawn close positions by air, and you'd have a tear, and you'd be like, ah, it's going to be lots of drops and banshees and one base airplay and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not exclusively the case anymore, but still certainly a threat. Yep. No more Colossus or uh, no more uh, Thor drops either on the ledge after the map change, of course. Oh, God. Is that Those SCV? Were the days. Is that SCV going to get killed? Oh, Thor drops, man. Yeah, that was pretty much the most fun thing ever. Oh, that drone's just going to try and duck on in and doesn't uh, get the kill and oh, dies. Oh, I get it. All right. All right, so there's a win for Sting as he's putting up two racks, actually, one at huh. the wall and one over on the side. This Overlord is just out of range, unfortunately. Yep, so we will see some bunker pressure put on the Zerg by our Terran player, Sting. Not any sort of, you know, ultra-fast bunker pressure or anything like that. It's just going to be a two bar barracks at a more uh, regular time. Well, but if, uh, if Suoshin isn't ready for it, could end up taking some damage. I assume, though, that Sting is going to lift this onto the low ground in a bit here yeah, to close that imagine. walk distance, so that should pop into range of the Overlord in a second. Yep, he'll see it coming, but if he doesn't react correctly, he'll still take... I don't know. He's a pro Korean StarCraft 2 player. He should react correctly. Well, we'll find out here. As, uh, he's got a few drones up, but uh, and that is definitely on his vision now, so... Uh, his spawning pool, of course, is still about uh, only two-thirds of the way done, so it's got a while before it finishes. We have our first Marine and SCV making the way out across the map. Two more SCVs pulled at the moment, along with continuing reinforcing Marines here. Nothing has been pulled off the line quite yet, though. Yep, not quite yet, but the pressure isn't very intense. There we go. He's got plenty of drones to deal with this now. And let's see Sting there with a Marine or two. His next line needs to respond to this. All right. There he goes, using the mineral walking trick to get around the Marines. Very nicely done there. But there's so many Marines. Oh, and he doesn't quite get this around like I thought he was going to there for a second. Oh, wow. And he hasn't stopped the construction of the no, bunker he either. He's just going after the Marines, and those are going to reinforce pretty quickly. A little bit of damage. He just Jeez. GG's. What? Look Seriously. at that. Sting takes the game in a ridiculous fashion. Wow. I am shocked, actually. Uh, Suho Shin. Oh, wow. Suho Shin. 